Thank you very much for uh, joining in. Um, hopefully this is going to be a nice relaxed start to your Friday uh, and you'll enjoy seeing what other people have come up with um, photographically in the last week. Uh, it's also a good opportunity for me to um, give you a nudge uh, for Mr Young's uh, own uh, challenge for the photography and art exhibition that's going on this term. So uh, do start thinking about what you could submit. Uh, I have to say some of the photos, um, some of the photos um, that have been sent to me uh, are um, fantastic. You know, really, really both artistic, uh, one or two slightly curious ones, um, certainly loosely interpreting the theme of changing times, but that's that's OK. Uh, and so I think um, we should probably make a start because I said that um, this would only be uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, and so what I'm going to try and do is share my screen at the same time as talking to you, which um, may work. Uh, and if it doesn't, hopefully someone will tell me. Uh, so uh, encouragingly, this is live. This is like live TV, isn't it? I know exactly what it feels like to be uh, ant or deck without perhaps the millions of fans. Um, now, I think I've got this in such a way that I can now show you. Uh, here is our first submission. Uh, not everyone wants to talk about it, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and and this, I thought I would start with this one because it's a most common um, theme for most of you, I think, probably. Uh, changing times. Uh, this is what uh, part of your house, I suspect, has become like over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, and Alex Duffy sent in something which uh, reflects actually quite a well-ordered space, um, but something that you're probably uh, most familiar with and, and sitting surrounded by books uh, and possibly your, your siblings or maybe even your parents' books as well. Uh, so uh, that one doesn't need too much explanation. Um, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, now, I, I uh, teach core skills uh, to uh, Form 1, and uh, one of my tasks this week, I, I uh, set them was uh, to um, uh, send me uh, some pictures or some aspect of life that's been a bit different. Uh, and I was so impressed with uh, what Faith sent me um, that, uh, that this almost reflected the changing times. And I asked her if she would be prepared to let me show a picture. And it was something that she challenged herself with. Uh, as a target for this term, she wants to be able to draw a whale. Uh, and I thought if she'd never drawn a whale, that was a tremendous uh, first effort. Uh, and so that one went on there. Uh, and I said to her, I asked her when she sent it to me, if she'd be prepared to uh, have that picture displayed as part of the changing times theme, because although it's not photographic, it is a photo of a picture that she'd drawn in the last week. So uh, very kindly, she said, yes, uh, we move on. Now I have a feeling uh, Eva has said she's prepared to talk about this, and it, uh, th this is a, a, as artistic as one could get. Um, but uh, I'm now looking across the screen and hoping that uh, I, I think I saw Eva is here. Uh, she's turned her microphone on, which is even better, uh, and that suggests that um, she's going to say something. So, uh, Eva, can you tell us a bit about the picture? Okay, so um, I took it. And I wanted to like take the picture of the tree behind the branch, but it focused on the branch instead. And so I thought, oh, that's quite a cool photo. And I took that and I chose it because I think that this image reflects the changing seasons from the green leaves in the background and the contrast from the bare bark to the blossom on the tree shows that. Uh, tremendous. And, and can you tell us where you were when you took it? I was still in my garden. OK, so it's just literally uh, your garden. Yeah. As simple as that. Uh, but it, that, uh, I, I'm, uh, as you'll probably be well aware, I'm a long way from uh, being what my, someone might class as an artist. Uh, but I'm sure if uh, Mr. Young were watching this, he would talk about the texture involved uh, and, and the, the, uh, the subtle difference between the foreground and the background and all those sorts of things. But uh, I, I, have, I gather composition is very important. So how did you decide that that was the angle you wanted? Um, well, I, t I took like three other photos, 
and that one looked the best out of the three that I took. Okay, great. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, was that taken on your phone? Uh, yeah. Brilliant. So it shows um, that shows very much the, uh, the we've, we've got a few more that are um, really quite open to interpretation. Some really interesting ones coming up, uh, as opposed to um, things that I would certainly take because I'm I'm um, what might be called a lucky photographer. Um, but thank you very much, Eva, for that. That was um, a really unusual one and one that um, if it didn't have um, your name at the bottom of it, which I added afterwards, um, then then you definitely um, that wouldn't be out of place on someone's living room wall as a as a piece of artwork. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, we move on. Um, this this was Grace um, uh, in the woods. Uh, I'm not sure from uh, what she sent me whether this was uh, something that uh, this is this is actually her horse or whether she found it. Um, it's clearly got a rainbow uh, attachment to it. Um, but I guess a lot of us, uh, in terms of the changing times, a lot of us have been out there um, in the woods uh, or walking around in the countryside. Um, and that's certainly been very different. I, I have explored a lot more of um, the local countryside than I ever expected I would have done because I tend to stick on the roads. So um, Grace uh, reflecting certainly uh, a lot of what we've been doing in our um, one piece of exercise we're allowed per day. Um, I should have said there are a number of staff and, and tutors from Dunbar and, and um, the various senior divisions uh, in on this. So if any of them want to add something as we go along, I know uh, they're not aware if people have said they'd rather not talk um, about their pictures, but if they want to add any commentary, any observations as we go along, then, then uh, do feel free to join in. Um, we move on. Uh, again, this is a woodland scene. Uh, Tom very kindly uh, sent his in. Uh, this is, um, we, in some ways, we've been very lucky, haven't we, that the time of year, I, I've said to a number of staff, if our lockdown period had happened in the depths of winter, I think it would have been significantly harder for us uh, because we have been able to get out and, um, and we've also had the sunniest April, notwithstanding this week, uh, sunniest April we've had for many years so um that that's definitely helped us um so bluebells we've had a bumper crop uh eve i know can't be with us uh, these believe it or not are probably everybody's least favorite flowers uh, because they are stinging nettles or nettles uh so um she obviously was seeing the positive side of um, a nettle bed um which was which was lovely uh and now uh, i'm hoping uh, Rose may say something because hers is a really interesting story uh, and I'm just seeing I'm not sure if she's actually on here whether she could join us um, and if she doesn't say anything then I will um, try and give you the background to um, her pictures just looking across uh, so uh, Rose was actually the first one to send any pictures to me and uh, I know from looking at the Strava page uh, that Rose has been out doing a fair bit of training herself, which is uh, most encouraging. And, and girls do join the Strava Girls Club um, to log your exercise. Uh, and she'd been out for a run, I think. And uh, she saw, um, or she was thinking at the time, how uh, um, these bin bags were both very colourful and um, it reflected how much more people were doing to, to get out. And then uh, she didn't have her phone with her at the time, so she went home, uh, came back, took that picture. Now, that in itself, you might say, well, is that really artwork? It all comes down to the appreciation. But then she developed that, uh, and that was the second one that she took. Uh, and I think that's actually fantastic, because if you're trying to make um, rubbish and bags, and I suspect they may be dog waste bags as much as anything else, if you're trying to make uh, art out of rubbish, uh, that's about as good as you could get, I think. So an overhead view, often a way of looking at things differently, um, does make a difference um, to a piece of artwork. So uh, in the absence of um, Rose being able to say anything, um, I, I really like that. Uh, Clover. Uh, Clover is here. I'm just looking. I'm not sure if she's going to say anything. Uh, if she if she is, she's going to uh, click her microphone on in the next few seconds. But she's um, uh, I'm guessing that was in her garden. Um, but uh, some particularly good uh, floral pictures have come through. Clover's microphone is on. Clover, good morning. 
Um, hi. Uh, I took um, that photo in my garden. Right. Um, and I took it because it, I think it shows that there's a, a new beginning and something positive to come. Right, great. Uh, I, I can hear a little bit of uh, something else in the background which uh, doesn't detract from the quality of your picture. Which is, which is very good. Do you know what the plant is? It's apple blossom. Apple blossom, excellent. Uh, and, and again, uh, composition uh, is a big key in photography and, and I think you've got that um, very nicely because it shows a nice clear background uh, so it's not too, uh, not too busy. Uh, and it, it draws your eye to the bottom part, I think, of, of the picture. So, uh, particularly well done with that. Um, anything else you want to add? Have, has the blossom, uh, I know from our own gardens, um, the, the downside of blossom is that uh, once it's gone, it's all over the ground and you have to sweep it up afterwards. But presumably apple blossom doesn't do that yet. No. Still yet. stuck on the tree. Brilliant. Uh, thank you, Clover. Uh, and thank you for, for adding to what otherwise is um, my rather dull commentary. Uh, you certainly enhanced your picture. Uh, we move on. Um, uh, Jack, uh, taking a, a picture, you can see a few, fair few blossom uh, aspects. Um, and uh, I should say, I, when I've been out, I, I'm a big fan of elderflower as a drink. Uh, and I know uh, one of our neighbours last year made her own elderflower cordial. Uh, which seems to be much better value than going to the supermarket and buying it because it seems to have a price uh, attached to it that is exorbitant. Uh, and I keep looking at the hedgerows, which is where you find elderflower. Uh, and, and I bumped into the neighbour, not literally in these social distancing times, uh, and, and said to her, um, these white flowers in the hedgerows, can I, can I chop them off and start boiling them for elderflower? And she said, no, no, those are hawthorns. They'll poison you. I suggest you don't. So um, do be careful before you... Uh, start but um, Jack's uh, found a nice collection of pictures I guess one of the key things about this is people wouldn't be taking photos of plants in a normal college week I suspect uh, Ellen with a, a beautiful bright purple picture um, looking across uh, Ellen is on uh, this so she was waiting for uh, seeing when her picture would appear these are not alphabetical I hasten to add these are just a random collection um, I'm not expecting Ellen to say anything, but if she if she wants to, she's come on. Ellen, uh, thank you for joining us. Do you know what the plant is? Um, no, I have no idea. But um, we don't really plant. We we don't really have any flowers in our garden. But our neighbour had planted them, and they kind of like come through the fence. Ah. <laughs> So uh, that's almost the best case scenario if you're not a keen gardener to benefit mm -hmm. from other people's handiwork. Uh, so. Uh, so that's come through your fence. Yeah, we're quite lucky. Yeah, Our next door neighbour's really good at gardening. <laughs> well, that, that, that's excellent and, and a, a, a beautiful colour as well. So uh, thank you very much for that. And I suppose that's a, a reflection of the changing times, taking advantage of um, the neighbour's handiwork. Mm -hmm. um, ah, Dr. Hart has contributed. It's Budlier or Budlier. He's nodding and a thumb up. So there you go. Ellen, you can um, wow your family with your horticultural knowledge now. Um, I'm looking at the time and recognising that we need to, um, I probably need to speed up a little bit. Um, so uh, Ben uh, took that picture. Uh, thank you, Ben, for that. And I, I think if you were, I, th I have a feeling they may be poppies. Is that right, Dr. Hart? He's not sure. Um, no, not sure, because I know we, we did have poppies that came out on the fields around the college last year. Uh, I'm not expecting Ben to be able to tell us what it is. Um, but, uh, Sir, yes. They're linseed flowers. Thank you. Marvellous. Linseed. They're ready for linseed oil. Brilliant. Yeah. And, and that's going to change. If you take the same picture or picture from the same place in another week's time, I imagine that will look completely different. In fact, Ben, if you're going past... Uh, and and you leave it another week and you can take another photo to, almost to replicate that one we'll be able to see how much has changed in the course of a week uh thank you ben uh that that was one of mine at the college actually so i i put that in early on just in case i didn't get any other submissions and i would uh, try to spin out 15 minutes talking about me wandering through the nettles in college to take a picture of um, the bluebells at sunset we'll move on now evie's taken uh three pictures in quick succession or I, I say I've got three quick, quick succession pictures from Evie. These are all fantastic. Uh, one, 
Uh, that's first thing in the morning. Uh, uh, I don't know if Evie is here. Okay, we're going to uh, keep ticking on, uh, but uh, Evie is here. Now, I tried to take a picture like this the other day. That Those of you that, that were aware of this, there, there was actually an asteroid, um, I forget what it's called, but it was a, a, a sequence of asteroids flying through the sky late at night about a week ago. And I believe the brightest star on the right-hand side, I'm not sure if you can see my, my mouse moving, I think that's Venus. Um, so uh, it was it was up in the sky for um, certainly several nights. Dr. Hart may be about to add some commentary. Do you want to come on the on, on the microphone, Dr. Hart, and add anything as our resident physicist? He's thinking about it. He's probably looking for his microphone. He is looking for his microphone. <laughs> we can always come back. To, uh, we can always come back to you. Um, we'll we'll keep moving for the time being, and then we'll we'll perhaps return to this picture at the end. Um, and and that one, I guess, if you've been out to collect some shopping, um, that may well be reflective of your experience too. Um, it's quite strange, isn't it, having to queue up? In never have we seen such orderly queues in this country. We're a nation of queuers, uh, but I think people have been particularly well behaved uh, much of the time. So that that I, I really enjoyed that one from Evie. Um, now, I actually plan to have that one right at the end, um, and my order seems to have been muddled up, so I'm going to refresh my page. Uh, but that was a, a really good one from Amelia, which um, actually says, thank you, key workers. And I don't know how many of you went out and clapped for a minute last night, um, but uh, that, that's certainly a, something that we wouldn't have expected to see. Um, Dr. Hart, have you found your microphone? No, he hasn't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just refresh the page uh, because I know that Zoe's pictures are in here. Uh, he has found his microphone. Are we on? Are we on now? Yes, Dr. Hart, I will pop back to uh, that. Um, well, there, there was one. Um, Marvellous. Yeah, we, we've been chatting about here, the, 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 the two Doctors Hart, and we think if it was Venus, it would have to be very, very low in the sky. Ah, okay. Um, it's only low in the sky and it's very bright. The, the so Venus yeah. definitely was out there the uh, last week. That's oh, certainly yeah. possible. That's low it enough. It was we... Venus. Yeah. Oh, it was. Is that what we're I hearing from Evie? It. It's quite likely because the colour of it as well. Mars is a, is a slightly darker colour. Those are the two brightest ones you tend to see are Mars and Venus. So that probably is Venus. Yeah. Evie, uh, you've you've been brave enough to turn your microphone on. Thank you. Uh, so you, you you looked at it through a telescope. Uh, yeah, I looked at it through a telescope in my garden, and then when I was on a dog walk, my stepdad has this night mode thing on his phone, so I took a photo with his phone. Okay, brilliant. Uh, thank you ever so much. Um, we're nearly out of time, and I know we've got uh, Zoe's pictures to come, so I'm going to whiz back uh, through because, ah, oh, there's one of them. Um, so, uh, no, not only uh, did Zoe uh, pick up uh, marvellous marks for some form of beetle with um, half an antenna um, but she's also showing that she's keeping her French going at the same time I'm not sure if her mother had something to do with that um, but very good um, I suspect that may also have been Venus looking at looking at the sky uh, and uh, there was certainly one more now um, uh, Zoe is here I'm not expecting her to turn her microphone on uh, I've have been trying to work out whether they are tomatoes or whether she was playing a game of bull um, but either could be possible, um, and I was playing a bit um, a game of pool, of ball. Game of ball in the garden with my family. Brilliant, uh, and and so they're, they're definitely not tomatoes, but they they <laughs> um, could have been um, a, a magical interpretation. And uh, you see, that's why I interpreted them as being tomatoes because maybe you'd, you'd um, finished up by having picked them, put them on the floor in an artistic way, and then, then um, thrown them into the pot. Um, but uh, that, I guess, is something else that has reflected our times. I don't know how many of your parents have encouraged you uh, to uh, do some extra cooking. Uh, my, my daughter, uh, younger daughter, seems particularly keen on um, some form of chocolate chip cookie, which is very dangerous at the moment because we're, we're trying all manner of recipes and they are, they are all quite good. But I, I don't know about you but I've found myself needing to try more than one. 
uh, most of the time. I'm going to whiz back to Amelia's final picture because um, that was where I wanted to finish it. Um, and uh, I don't think I gave her credit verbally for the picture, but um, that seems to be a particularly good way to finish um, this thought for the day uh, with a little bit of uh, a picture of thanks for key workers, because of course it's not just the NHS that uh, are keeping us going. And, and um, the other thing I wanted to say to you is 99% um, of you have been absolutely fantastic uh, in the last two weeks. Uh, really committed to uh, this online learning um, and, and responded really positively to the challenges that you're facing. Uh, and I just want to say uh, thank you to you and keep it all going. So uh, keep working hard. Um, there seem to be, as uh, Boris Johnson said, there's light at the end of the mountain tunnel. Um, so um, let, let's hope that we're having a proper assembly before too long. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, you've got, I think, three minutes before your next one. Um, hopefully we'll see you all soon.